there, my name is Colin Mahern, and this is a very, very sad cartoon called Elk. Yeah, I know. It's not like games commonly use real stories for their premises, but Welcome to Elk is a little bit different. It is one of the games that I featured in my 10 indie games coming out in 2020 that you should know about. And whilst I can't show you much, this is just a demo. I think it'll give you a feel for what this is, which I mean, this screen will give you a feel for what this is, as there is a Noel Gallagher-esque man here with no face and a, a horse cam thing with a tie. So that's that's good. How goes it, Captain? Wet. It is wet. Such poetry. You know, Captain, Anders doesn't look so well. That's because he's dead. All right. What? Yep. I can't believe it. Yep. First mate Anders is dead. What an awful shame. We must sing him a song for his passing. Cabin girl Frigg, let her voices soar and carry Anders to the other side. All right. Brilliant. The horse thing is mimicking what I am doing. Maybe they'll take their head off and it'll be Justin Hawkins of the darkness underneath. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm excited to see where this is going to go. So as you probably noticed, it is a little bit strange, but I would say wonderfully so. And from what I've seen thus far in trailers and the other kind of gameplay clips and whatever else, it is a collection of mini games, almost kind of WarioWare or Frobisher Says. Remember Frobisher Says? That type of thing. Whilst I suppose there is a, a story running through it as well. You are Frigg, this carpenter who has come to this this island called Elk where there's a lot of eccentric people there and every one of them has a story to tell and they also have fridges full of squid is it fish again that top one that's a funny looking fish okay I should write down that story before I forget forget wait isn't there something I'm not supposed to forget Crapper, I told Anders I would hang out with him today. I thought Anders was dead. Better head over to his cave now. The art style is really lovely, which is why I said that this is kind of a sad cartoon. Jesus Christ, there are two men with guns outside a pub. You such a dumb f drunk fucker, Leroy. Ha, frick off, Victor. Leroy doesn't have the same love of profanities as Victor does. The hell you just say? Oh shit, nothing, nothing. Damn right, nothing. Oh, um, hey guys, fuck off, frog. We're drinking here. You No, you're not. You're just, you've... Where's your drinks? Ha, yeah. Can I chat to him again? No. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Calm down, man. Jesus. To be fair, they have guns. I don't want to be dealing with them at all. Ha, 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 good one. Uh, those guys suck. Right, well, let's get away from those two horrible bastards and into this cave where Anders should be. There he is, with a face this time. That's, that's positive. Oh, I wanted to talk about my parents. Ah, uh, is this another thing about you being dead? We're all dead here, Frigg. I really did die on that boat, you know? Right, this is... I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, uh, but I enjoy it. Of course, Anders, sorry. Please continue. Well, as you know, I never knew my parents, but I just know they're here in the afterlife too. You mean elk? That's what I said. But you know, I've never seen them. All right, well, maybe it isn't a purgatory and maybe it is just the good place or maybe the bad place. I don't know. We're, let's find out. But I figure if I could picture what they look like, his parents, uh, I'd be sure to know it's them when I see them. Okay, that kind of makes sense. So what's the plan? Well, I got these funny people papers. I think they'll help me. They'll help me see mum and dad. Uh-huh. Mm. 
Can I help? That's a great idea. I bet you know what my mom and dad look like. Frig. So I am going to help him make a twisted serial killer version of his parents. Alright. I'm up for that. I bet my dad looks really beautiful like a famous singer. That's Willem Dafoe. And I would say in... Under a certain light. I'm going to say quite a pronounced nose. And good Freddie Mercury teeth. Good strong teeth. There he is. You're dead right, Anders. A beautiful man. Someone really important, like a ship captain or a banker. Well, I would say... Jodie Foster's left eye. I could just imagine her um, behind a desk in Nat West. That must be what they look like. Let me just put them up here. Wow. <laughs> Stunning. They totally don't look creepy. All thanks to you, Frig. I'm sure to find my parents now. Let me get you a drink at the bar as thanks. What is that freaky fish? Hey, Larry, how's it swimming? Fantastic. The fish can talk. Come on, Larry, you know I can't stay away from my favourite place. The, the, the pun work here. Bravo. Triple topping. Well, morning, sunshine. No work with Jan today? Nah, he's helping Ingrid out on the boat today, so got the day off. Well, I got plenty you can help me with today. Hiccup if you're free frig -g -g. I have a feeling this person is a bit incapacitated. Don't you pay her any mind, Frig. Sue here has just been enjoying her liquid breakfast. Should we be celebrating that about Sue? Ah, oh, come on, Bobby. You know the beer ain't the only thing keeping me here. Who are these two? There you fecking are. There you fecking are. I thought Triple Topping was a Danish studio. There's most. There's Irish influence in here somewhere. God damn it, Sue. You're supposed to be teaching Freddy today. I got Jeppy, Heppy, coming with the ferry today. You know how well he pays me. Haha, <laughs> oh shit, my bad. Now, Beth, Sue, how about we take it easy? No need to be swearing in front of little Freddy. Come on, Mrs. Sue, I need to feckin' learn things to get off this feckin' island. This is... I mean, it's a good way to get someone like me to take notice is by putting the word feck in your game. I'm a simple creature. I have an idea. Why don't we all have a beer to cool off? I could do with one. How about it, Beth? You buying? Yeah, Frig, you buying? It's beer. All right, I guess I'm buying. I hope I have cash on me. I'm not sure if there is an in-game currency. I doubt there is, though. Okay, Han, try pouring a beer for me. Tilt the cup to produce less foam. All right, that's a good... So you're looking for a decent head on that one. Like... There. No. Hang on. Sorry, I'm... I'm very sorry, new to this. New to this. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, you sick, sick human being. Fill mine to the top, spill out as much as you like till you get it right. So you went flat piss. I'll do my best. Come hiccup on then, Martha. Fuck, you know it's Freddy, missus. Alright, child, calm down. I'll let you off with the occasional feck. Look at the size of you. Alright. Just change one vowel. Very simple thing just to have the uh, actionable objects in colour. No? Very, very small. Let's chat to Beth. Hey, Beth, how are you feeling? What's that? Oh, the squirrel. Oh, Beth. Okay, Beth enjoys the taste of a, an occasional squirrel. Ah, you bet we do. Me and Freddy ain't that picky, let me tell you. Tricky bass is a catch, but it's worth it. Okay, wait, you got to tell me more about this. Ah, oh sure, I can tell you all about it. Better take a seat, this story's a kicker. So, this is where, as you saw at the start, the Based on True Stories, this game is that mix between peculiar mini games and stories based on uh, reality. All right, so now I'm in control of Beth. There's little Freddy. Can I put on... Oh, lovely. Have a little song. How's it going, Mr. Fixer? Please don't tease, Beth. You know I'm crap with machines. Haha, <laughs> you're doing fine. Damn it, George. Those fecking squirrels have been chewing my clothes again. 
fecking squirrels. Well, look where the child has learned it. Jesus, all right, all right. I'll try and put some traps out or something. Let me finish with this snow scooter first, will you? You see, Freddy, your daddy's a good man, even if his beard does smell a little like piss. It's an interesting dynamic these three have. <laughs> I respect it to an extent. Uh, you know, at least they love each other. Mom, I'm bored. Can you sing us something? Um, what's popular? Come out, ye black and tans. Come out and fight me like a man. Show your wife how you won medals down in Flanders. It's number one in the charts. All right. Did you hear something? Oh, it's the two lads from earlier. Oh, fuck, Beth. Freddy, stay behind me. Watch it. Just stand where you are, all right? Who are you? Less of the dumbass questions, please. I don't hold guns not to use them. Beth, please, just do as they say. George, you horrible bastard, you know we've been looking for you. Mmm. Let's just go somewhere and talk about this, just not in front of my family, please. I don't think this is going to end well for George. You got some fucking nerve, you have. Too right you know why we're here, you fucker. You killed Donny, you fuck. Donny fucking killer. Why did he kill... They're meaning in the prison. Oh, George. Right, so George killed Donny. You... I think these two boys... Might... They might believe in an eye for an eye. Girls, I'm so sorry. Mummy, do something. Gonna sing a song. This is it, Beth. Please sing me one last song. Okay. So in this instance, little Freddy will be mimicking what I'll be singing. So the game doesn't penalise you for what buttons you press, it's kind of up to you. Whatever you want your song to be, essentially. This... So we have a new spotlight over here. I d yeah, I... Shit. Okay. The fish is still here at least. Hey, Free, who's the guy sat over there? I don't know. Don't know who it is. Let's have a chat with him. Hi, Frigg. Well, let me tell you how ah. I was told about George and how he died. George was a weed farmer up in Green Lane Road. And one day, he was caught by the police. And then he was sent to jail, where he had to do a couple of years. And to get by, he had to trade in some favors with some bikers to be safe in prison. And he did what he had to do, and after some years, he was free and he went home on Greenland Road to see his family. And some more years went by. Until one day, when the bikers, they came to him for unsettled death. The neighbors could hear the Motorcycle engines roaring, driving up on Green Lane Road and stopping at George's house. And there the bikers went in, dragged out George, his wife and his daughter and tied them up to some poles in the driveway. And while Anna and, Annie and Mia, the daughter, <coughs> the wife and daughter, they watch, put a shotgun to George's head and they pulled the trigger and blew off his face. George just hanging there, me and Annie unable to help, just watching. 
the baggers took off. And of course George, he was dead. Years later I went there on Green Lane Road. And at the bar I met Annie and Mia. Been told the story about George's death. I had to ask them, was this true? Was it how it happened? And if so, how did they get by afterwards? So I asked them that. And then she simply asked, and I answered, well, we had to eat a lot of squirrels afterwards. But George gone, bringing home no money. Pretty shocked by this answer. I looked at Mia, the daughter. She was just staring into the air, all empty. And then finally she said, the day daddy died, I'm never gonna forget. There you go, there's the based on true stories, reality aspect where the developer has actually included um, interviews with people who are recounting these stories. So definitely one to watch uh, for 2020. I think this one has serious legs because I really enjoy that mix of kind of the, the darkness and the in there and then the light with the strange uh, mini games. Yeah. Welcome to Elk. It's looking good. If you like this video, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. Also, there are two other videos off to the side if you're looking for more to watch here on YouTube. But the most important thing is to subscribe and then hit the bell so you're notified of all future uploads and live streams and all that type of stuff. Thank you very much for watching. You are a star.